Alrighty friends, hello, this is Cole from the Arizona Science Center and I am super excited to be talking to you because we're about to do one of my favorite demonstrations ever. Now right now I am on the first floor of the Arizona Science Center. To the right of me is the Wonder Center and to the left of me is All About Me. If you've ever been here to the Science Center, you know what I'm talking about. These are the sections that talk about the human body and how it works. And the reason why I'm bringing that up and why it's so pertinent right now is because we are going to be doing a sheep heart dissection. Now the reason why I have a sheep heart right here is because structurally it's very similar to a human heart. And so in just a few seconds, I'm gonna open it up, show you some really cool things about it, and hopefully you can learn a few things about your own body along the way. Before we get into that though, I wanna just make a quick disclaimer. This is a real organ, and the reason why I bring that up is because some people might be a little bit uncomfortable with that. Now, if you clicked on this video, I assume you're probably comfortable with it, but if at any point in the video you feel uncomfortable, go ahead and walk away, turn off the, uh, tab, close the tab, I should say, uh, just because you're not into icky and gooey science, it doesn't make you a bad scientist, only a different scientist. And there are so many sciences out there you can get into. All right, so please remember that going forward. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and have our amazing camera person, Valerie, come up, and she's gonna go ahead and focus on the heart. So this is a sheep heart. Uh, again, it looks a lot like a human heart. Human hearts are just a little bit bigger um, and not as slender. But we're gonna go ahead and just point out a few things. In the comments section of wherever you're seeing this, I want you to go ahead and write down your own observations or any cool facts you know about the human body or human heart uh, along the way. So we see a few different colors here, right? We have some white tissue right here. That white tissue is essentially fat. The reason why there's fat there is because the heart needs protection. Your heart beats every single day of your life um, and because of that, it might have the unpleasant opportunity to run into the pleural sac that surrounds it. Uh, that friction can cause long-term damage over the lifespan of something, and the white fat right here actually protects the heart from that. Along with that, the fat around the heart acts as an energy store, being super accessible and easy to pull energy from whenever the heart needs it. So those are the two main reasons why the heart has this fat layer around it. Now, uh, the darker part here obviously is the muscle of the heart. The heart is just one big muscle. It's made of a very special type of muscle too called cardiac muscle, which means that it's involuntary. So essentially, we don't even need to think about it. Your heart just does its thing your entire life and you don't need to think about flexing it or moving it at all. It's all taken care of, which is lovely in my opinion. Now, I already cut this one open just to make my job a little bit easier. And uh, But before I open this up, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how we do open up our hearts here. So we normally start up here at the apex and with a super sharp scalpel, we make an incision and then go all the way around it, cutting through as much as we can until we cut all the way through. So because we did that, I might as well just show you what we have in here. So there we go, the inside of the heart, right there. And again, please write down your observations in the comments section of wherever you're seeing this. We love to see that sort of thing. Uh, you might be noticing a few different things in here. There's a lot to really take in, uh, but let's go ahead and kind of start up at the top. So this section right here, let me see if I can find it real fast. It's a little bit more pertinent in this one. So this is an aorta. Sorry, not an aorta, my bad. This is an atrium, there's a lot of A's in the heart anatomy. But this is an atrium right here, the atrium where my finger is, or should I say, where this is, where this handy dandy little pipe cleaner is gonna go. If I can get it through there. The reason why I'm putting the pipe cleaner through there is to kind of highlight how blood flows through the heart itself. All right. So, we have up here the atrium. The atrium essentially acts as a waiting room for blood. Now, blood will pull up in there as it moves from the body into the heart. And when it gets heavy and full enough, this little trap door looking thing right here, this heart valve, will release and cause the blood to flow down here into this larger chamber, which is called the ventricle. Now you can actually hear the atrium and the ventricle beat individually if you listen to a heartbeat. You know how there's kind of a lub dub, lub dub, Lub dub. Now that lub that you hear is actually the atrium part contracting and the heavier dub at the very end, the second beat, is going to be the ventricle, which makes sense because the ventricle is much larger and has much more muscle going around it. Now from there, within the ventricle, it goes out to the pulmonary arteries, which then go to the lungs, which allow the blood to get oxygenated, right? Because oxygen is one of the main reasons why we have blood. 
blood helps move oxygen around the body so we can use it as fuel. From the lungs, which we don't have on here, it goes to the pulmonary veins into another atrium, the left atrium, which is gonna be this one over here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. The atrium, yes, so this is the atrium over here. And then uh, from there, it is going to go into the left ventricle, and then finally out the aorta, which is this long tube right here at the very top. You can kind of see it right there. It's a little bit more obvious right here, right? So we have the left ventricle and the left atrium right here, uh, and that is what allows essentially blood to flow back into the body, where we can then use the oxygen connected to it and the nutrients and everything to power our body, body to do whatever we want to. And that essentially is how the human heart works, and more specifically, how a human sheep, a sheep heart works. Um, that is gonna be all for this demonstration today. My friends, thank you so much for being a part of this video and leaving your awesome comments. If you wanna see more videos, go ahead and visit us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Actually, every day on Facebook, we have our morning streams at 9.30 and also our afternoon streams at 1 p.m. where we do a ton of fun, different demonstrations every single day. Uh, also, if you're at all interested in doing some fun science activities, uh, we have a huge catalog of that on our website at azscience.org. So you can find all those there. On that, my friends, my name is Cole. This is the Arizona Science Center, and thank you for being a part of this. Have a great day.